Hello Capricorn, welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of March 2024. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a positive comment down below. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. And I am available for private readings. All of my information is in the description box under the video. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Keep an open mind. Not all of the messages are going to be for everybody who sees my video. And remember, the energies can be flipped around. All right, so let's see what's going on for you at this time. We're going to pull an overall energy message first. All right, so you've got the Caduceus. You will receive news from afar. So, wow, okay. This could be some news around a medical concern. Or some news that's going to bring some healing. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. Or you may have strong Leo in your chart. But you're going to get some news from afar. And I think it's going to be good news. And then on the bottom you've got Medusa. Jealousy leads to downfall. Okay, well maybe it's not going to be good news. <laughs> could be coming from some jealous hater. Um, somebody could be, you know acting like a frenemy and wanting to know what you're up to. Um, or you could be getting some good news and other people are going to be jealous about your good fortune. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on here. Love reading for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Does Capricorn need to know most at this time, please, Spirit? Messages for their highest good only. Oh, speaking of Leo, you've got strength. Ten of Cups. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Five of Cups. And then the Moon, Cancer energy. All right. Something's about to be revealed to you. I feel like you've been very strong. You've been brave, courageous. I feel like you, you're you waiting for some good news. Um, you might have, you know, been a victim of some jealous people and they now regret what, they, what they've done. I feel like somebody truly misses you here. But I feel that there is a lot of healing coming in, especially with temperance and the caduceus being here. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer... Um, on the cusp of Leo, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, there's just something that's going to make you very, very happy. I feel like this is something that you've been waiting for. I feel like you've been in the dark. You've gone through a dark time. Um, I feel like you've been very secretive and just kind of keeping to yourself. Um Some of you may have your moon sign in Cancer, which is your opposite sign, Capricorn. Um, you're standing your ground, and I feel like you've been very disciplined. You've worked very hard. Other people might be jealous, but they haven't seen everything that you've gone through. And, you know... Um, you make it look easy. You're very successful. Or you're or you're about to be very successful, and somebody could be missing you. Um, they regret some 
stuff that happened. Things might, you know, have turned out the way that you had hoped. Um, there's a strong past life soulmate connection that you share with somebody. I feel like you're going to get a second chance at something. There's a number 20 on this card. There's an 11 here. There's a sickle or a scythe here. You can see that. And here's a number 11, 20. I feel like you're going to get another chance here. Somebody is, um, they may have misjudged you before. Um, they might have been jealous. And, you know, things are going to work out for you. And um, this has been an emotional time. You've been put through a lot of emotional turmoil. And it's like you just wanted to be happy. Things are coming together. I feel like things are being put together for you on the other side here. And you're coming out of a, a cycle of being in the dark and being scared. And... You know, coming, if you've gone through, you know, the shat, like a shadow phase or a dark night of the soul, you're coming out of it. And I think you're, you're going to have the strength to just, you know, move forward and not have any regrets. This news that you're going to get is, um, going to be um it could be very good news for for some of you let's get another deck here fall in love with what you already have don't be a jelly nelly and want you know want what other people have because you don't know what's happening in their life behind the scenes you know people especially on social media they make everything look like they have this amazing life and then you find out that they're going through a divorce or that they're being cheated on or that they're being abused or you know they're broke as heck um you know everything's just a front all for show because they've got a huge ego somebody likes a lot of attention If somebody reaches out to you and they're being like low-key shady, being a low-key hater, you think you're going to have the strength and courage just to be very sweet with them. This angel is taming that lion, okay? People might think you're mean or something when you're a real sweetheart you know they just need to get to know you better okay why is the caduceus here you've got the two of diamonds so this is about balance weighing out the pros and cons um you know going through life's ups and downs multitasking okay somebody could be working two jobs here somebody could you know maybe work you know, as an EMT or a nurse, maybe somebody's going to school and working. Uh, but it's about balance and, you know, multitasking. If you need to make a decision about something, once you make your decision, you're going to be uh, taking those first steps here, having the courage to just, you know, do what's best for you. Okay, you're going to make the right decision. You're very strong, brave. You were blessed with infinite strength from the universe to go through this. And you've been very patient with your situation or this other person. Why is strength here? Five of clubs. Yeah, there's been a lot of drama, chaos, jealousy. Someone treated you like an option. Okay. It's like you have the strength. You're, you're the better person. You're not going to get yourself involved in any of that. You're not going to allow any of that. You're going to have the strength to solve whatever problems you need to solve. 
We've got two fives and a ten here, and number 20 and number 11. You're, like I said, there's an end to this difficult time, and I think you're going to get some good news here. Why is temperance here for Capricorn? Being patient, finding healing, balance, integration. It's Archangel Michael. Um, got the four of clubs. You're you're slowly going to the next level. You're you know ascending. You're um, being promoted. You're you know going to the next level. Somebody wants to take this relationship to the next level. Um, things are slowly starting to come together. You might be, you know, integrating your life with somebody else's. Um, somebody's ready to take this connection to another level and they've been thinking about it for a while. And this could be, you know, bring you a lot of happiness with a soulmate with this Ten of Cups, just feeling whole and complete here. You're ready for something more. You're ready for that higher love. Why is the moon here? Got the Jack of Hearts. So there's an offer of love and friendship. You could be dealing with another water sign, specifically a um, Cancer, Pisces, possibly a Scorpio. Someone's extending their love. They've, you know, they might have been a bit fickle, moody. Um, this person has deep, deep romantic feelings for you. This person is deeply in love with you, Capricorn. And I feel like they regret some stuff that's happened. They've been, you know, experiencing a lot of fear and inner conflict, possibly some jealousy. And I feel like somebody is, you know, I feel like they want to, they want to communicate. You might hear from this person out of the blue. And somebody's going to be jealous here. Or they were jealous and that's why you're not with this person anymore. Because of jealousy. There could have been a third party here. That they allowed to come in between the two of you. I think you're going to get some communication from this person. All right, then we've got the three of clubs. Yeah, this is something you've been waiting for. It's like you know that your your ships are coming in, okay? You, you might not have seen it before. It might have seemed like it was taking a long time or you're afraid, you know, that this would never happen. But we've got a ship on this card here. And... Three of Clubs is about waiting for your ships to come in. It's, you know, you've already made up your mind. You've taken first steps and you're just waiting for the results of your prayers, intentions and manifesting. So these, this is for you. This, this is a special person or opportunity that is meant for you and other people might be jealous. You just might want to keep things to yourself for a while. Don't make it publicly known but you're you're whatever you've been patiently waiting for is coming don't live in fear and regret okay just heal that okay can only do so much you can't you don't have control over everything all right you've got mana madness ecstatic ritual energy release so you might have been doing some moon magic some water magic some fire magic you might have been praying manifesting setting intentions doing some sort of ritual somebody could be a bit um, OCD um, 
somebody has a lot of pent up energy that they need to find a healthy outlet for. Because it could be wrecking their health. All right, let's get some love messages from my very own beautiful Soiree Magique Oracle. Um, it is available for purchase. If you're interested, shoot me an email. Let's get some love messages on this for you, Capricorn. What else can Capricorn know? You've got Muse. Okay, this is someone who's inspired or someone who's inspiring. Um, you could be, you know, inspiring someone to be the best possible person that they could be. This is someone who's very creative and artistic or, you know, you inspire someone to create some music, poetry, artwork fascination somebody is just in awe of you and they might be jealous they're fascinated you're just so beautiful and interesting and intelligent it's just wonderful and um like i said somebody could be jealous friendship again this could be a frenemy Okay, or you've got a friend who, you know, is a little bit obsessed here. They might be, you know, want, they might like you than more than just a friend. Okay. Maybe you've friend zoned somebody and they're jealous. Or this is something that starts out as a friendship and it becomes something stronger and, and deeper. On the bottom, you've got beauty. Yeah, this is someone who's just gorgeous, beautiful, inspiring. Someone is just fascinated and taken by your beauty, both your inner beauty and your outer beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. So that's what I have for you at this time, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.